Once you turn on the ability to bulk change customers slash projects and lines, you'll notice next time you go to the reclassified transactions page that there is a new little link here to reclassified line level customers. If I click that, it'll open up an entirely new tab that will take me to the transactions detail by date. And you can also get to this by going directly to this report. My suggestion is that you do not change any of the columns. However, you can change the customization to whatever uh, filtering you want. By default, we have it so it's set up that the filter is anything that does not have a customer in it. Um, so that's what this is looking at right now. And once I have all the filtering customized and everything that I want, I can click on prep batch. And this will do just a couple of things that flash the screen real quick. And once it's done, you'll know because it'll say batch here instead of prep. Uh, once that's done, I'm going to press batch. And this is actually one where I want to show what happens here. You can see here that there are three transaction or three lines here for this expense. And this is all the same expense. This line right here is the offsetting uh, journal entry line. So you can't actually change what the customer is for this. Um, and you'll see what happens here in a second once I do this. So I'm going to change this from uh, a no customer transaction to the, each of these lines will now have Batman. If I run batch, you can see it'll go through each one at a time. And once it reloads, that 1330 is still there because that represents the whole transaction. Um, but each of the individual lines say Batman. So that's just something to keep uh, a lookout for. The other thing is that this currently does not work with invoices, deposits, or sales receipts, um, but mostly because of the fact that with invoices and sales receipts, you actually specify the customer at the top, and deposits because of the fact that they're weird and they hate me. So hopefully this helps.